for the entrance let us take him number 267 on page 84 my dear brothers and sisters i offer this mass for the intention of confraria members as we pray for this intention let us remember those who are celebrating their birthdays today those who are sick in the hospitals in homes let's pray for the ssc students who are preparing for their board exam and compiling all our personal intentions let us begin this eucharistic celebration In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, in order to take part in this mass in a worthy manner, let us call to our minds our sins. With a contrite heart, let us all say. I confess to Almighty God, God, God and to my, my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my own grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. to God in the highest and on earth peace, peace to the people, to people, of, people of, of good will we, we praise you we bless you we adore you we, we, glorify, you. we glorify you we give, give you thanks for your great glory, glory. Lord, 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 Lord God heavenly king for oh God, God almighty Father, Father Lord Jesus Christ only begotten Son, Son. Son Lord God Lamb of God Son of the Father you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us You take the sins of the world, of the world receive, receive our prayer. You are, you are seated at the right hand, hand of the Father, have, have mercy, mercy on us. On us. For, For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the, are the, Lord. Lord. Alone are are the Most High, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. with the Holy Spirit, Spirit. In, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant we pray, Almighty God, that by saint joseph's intercession your church may constantly watch over the unfolding of the mysteries of human salvation whose beginnings you entrusted to his faithful care through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen, amen. A reading from the second book of Samuel. In those days, the word of the Lord came to Nathan. Go and tell my servant David, thus says the Lord, when your days are fulfilled and you lie down with your fathers, I will raise up your offspring after you. 
who shall come from your body and i will establish his kingdom he shall build a house for my name and i will establish the throne of his kingdom forever i will be to him a father and he shall be to me a son and your house and your kingdom shall be made sure forever before me your throne shall be established forever the word of the lord thanks be to god our response his descendants shall continue forever his, his descendants, descendants shall, shall continue, continue forever. forever i will sing forever of your mercies o lord through all ages my mouth will proclaim your fidelity i have declared your mercy is established forever your fidelity stands firm as the heavens our response his, his descendants, descendants shall, shall continue, continue forever. forever with my chosen one i have made a covenant i have sworn to david my servant i will establish your descendants forever and set up your throne through all ages our response his, his descendants, descendants shall, shall continue, continue forever. forever he will call out to me you are my father my god the rock of my salvation i will keep my faithful love for him always with him my covenant shall last our response his, his descendants, descendants shall, shall continue, continue forever. forever a reading from the letter of saint paul to the romans brethren the promise to abraham and his offspring that he would be a heir of the world did not come through the law but through the righteousness of faith that is why it depends on faith in order that the promise may rest on grace and be guaranteed to all his offspring not only to the adherent of the law but also to the one who shares the faith of abraham who is the father of us all and it is written i have made you the father of many nations in the presence of the god in whom he believed who gives life to the dead and calls into existence the things that do not exist in hope he believed against hope that he should become the father of many nations as he had been told so shall your offspring be that is why his faith was counted to him as righteousness the word of the lord thanks be to god kindly rise glory and praise to you o christ glory and praise to you o christ Blessed are they who dwell in your house O Lord forever singing your praise Glory and praise to you O Lord The Lord be with you and with your spirit A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jacob, the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary, of whom Jesus was born, who is called Christ. Now the birth of Jesus Christ took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been betrothed to Joseph, before they came together, she was found to be with child from the holy spirit and her husband joseph being a just man and unwilling to put her to shame 
resolved to send her away quietly. But as he considered these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not fear to take Mary as your wife, for that which is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. When Joseph woke from sleep, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, based on the Holy Scripture, we can know many things of the life of Saint Joseph. And I'm going to make this reflection purely based on the Holy Scripture, whatever information the Bible gives us about Saint Joseph, I'm going to reflect on that information and draw a message for our life on this feast of solemnity of Saint Joseph. My dear brothers and sisters, as we have heard in today's gospel reading, he was betrothed to Mary. The marriage was arranged. But before they came together, before they started living together, Mary was found with a child. Mary was found with a child. And my dear brothers and sisters, Saint Joseph plans to leave her quietly, as we have heard in the gospel. He plans, he decides to leave her quietly and that was the best choice he had under the circumstances to obey the, to obey the law without exposing Mary to any harm. Without doing any harm, that was the best choice he had. But my dear brothers and sisters, as we have heard, in the Gospel reading, the angel of the Lord intervenes as he was planning to put her away quietly, the angel of the Lord intervenes and reveals to him the mystery of the virginal conception of Jesus and asks him to take Mary as his wife. My dear brothers and sisters, Joseph recognized this as the will of God and accepted it in faith and submission and took Mary as his wife. My dear, my dear friends, the obedience of Saint Joseph is inspired by a deep faith. He had extraordinary faith as he took in good spirit all the extraordinary and unheard of things that took place in the Holy Family. He was a man of deep, extraordinary faith. My dear brothers and sisters, the second stance we can draw or learn from the life of Saint Joseph is when Mary came to know that her cousin Elizabeth is also conceived and at the old age she realized, she feels that my cousin requires a help and she ran in haste to help her cousin Elizabeth. She went to help her cousin. Joseph made no objections to her absence for three months. He was understanding and supportive and not dominating and possessive. This is the second message we can learn. She allowed, she allowed Mary to go to her cousin to help, did not stop her. He was not possessive and dominating. My dear brothers and sisters, at the, at the birth of Jesus in Bethlehem, Joseph anxiously sought a suitable place for Mary. He assisted her in labor and pain and rejoiced with Mary at the birth of Jesus. He was always supportive 
always rejoicing with Mary. My dear brothers and sisters, the angel of the Lord said to Joseph, take up your child, take up Jesus and Mary and go to Egypt. Herod is planning to kill the child. And that night, so that hour, Joseph, Mary, Mary, Joseph takes Mary and baby Jesus and flee to Egypt. My dear brothers and sisters, when he went to Egypt, he had to organize everything from scratch and settle down, get a house, find enough work and learn Egyptian language. When he was told to take the child and marry and go to Egypt, my dear brothers and sisters, he cooperated with the voice of the Lord, with the message of the Lord which came through angel. And Mary trusted Joseph and cooperated with him in the long and difficult journey. My dear brothers and sisters, today as we celebrate the solemnity of Saint Joseph, the husband of Blessed Virgin Mary, let us learn some messages for our life, for our family from Saint Joseph. First, my dear brothers and sisters, he was a man of deep faith. Secondly, he was a responsible father. He was a responsible father, a responsible husband. And thirdly, my dear brothers and sisters, he was always, always open to the promptings or to the messages of the Lord. Jesus, who will come at the altar, help us to realize today's reflection in our life. Amen. Please stand. Let us profess our faith in one God. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Kindly be seated. For the offertory, let us take hymn number 126 on page 35. Thank mm -hmm. you. my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We pray, O Lord, 
that just as St. Joseph served with loving care your only begotten Son, born of the Virgin Mary, so we may be worthy to minister with a pure heart at your altar. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and on the solemnity of St. Joseph to give you fitting praise, to glorify you and bless you. For this just man was given by you as spouse to the Virgin Mother of God and set as a wise and faithful servant in charge of your household to watch like a father over your only begotten Son, who was conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit of our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions edo and past tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices we pray join with theirs in humble praise we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the default, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. Jesus. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Jesus. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by our cross, cross and resurrection, resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of your death and the resurrection, we have offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, <clears throat> giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Philip Neri, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ was said to apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, and with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world, world have mercy on us. On us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only, only say the word, and, and my soul, soul shall be healed. Be Let us pray. Defend with unfailing protection, O Lord, we pray, the family you have nourished with food from this altar, as they rejoice at the solemnity of Saint Joseph and graciously keep safe your gifts among them. Through Christ our Lord. Just a reminder, today is the inauguration and installation of the new PPC 2024 to 2027 with solemn mass at 6 p.m. All the new elected PPC members must attend. Let's pray for the members. The Lord be with you. And with your with spirit. Your May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The mass is ended. Go to love and serve the Lord.
Thanks, Thanks be, be to, God. to God. So.